I've made three more of these panels with Nidacore honeycomb core at the center, a layer of fiberglass on each side, and then countertop epoxy on one side. And I want to attach the panels to the ceiling. And the honeycomb doesn't really lend itself very well for putting fasteners in holes. Because you've got basically a very thin crust of fiberglass on either side of a core material that's almost entirely air. So it would be easy for a fastener to pull through. What I'm doing now is making some reinforced areas where I can put a bolt or a zip tie or some other fastener through and not have it pull out of the panel or damage the panel. So I'm using a hole saw to drill oversized holes every place that I want a fastener. And now I'm going to put tape on the nice side of the panel. And this is just sealing off one end of the hole. So once I flip the panel over, the bottoms of the holes are sealed by the tape, making like a little well. And I'm going to mix some polyester resin and I'm going to pour a little bit of it in each well to basically fill the hole up to the top of the core on the other side. Once the polyester resin is hardened, I can flip the core over and remove the tape. And it's left little discs of polyester in the honeycomb core where I wanted to drill holes for fasteners. So now I can drill a smaller hole through the center of the disc of polyester. And the polyester discs make a reinforced area in the panel that's a lot stronger than if I was to put a bolt or a fastener through the panel without leaving a reinforced spot as I'm doing now. So once I've finished drilling all the holes, I'm going to switch to a much larger drill bit and give each hole a chamfer basically to remove any burrs or chips where I had drilled originally. And then I vacuum up my mess. And this is a close-up of the reinforced places with the holes. You can see that the polyester has flowed out into some of the cells that were cut by the hole saw. And those little petals, for lack of a better word, are actually underneath the fiberglass. So those discs of polyester are really attached to the panel very securely. Since I'm making several panels, I had the opportunity to record a close-up of the drilling of the holes. Because people on YouTube seem to enjoy watching that sort of thing. And this is the beauty shot. You can see how nice and shiny all of these are. And if I get close enough, you'll be able to see the honeycomb pattern right through the... There's actually a layer of fiberglass and a layer of countertop epoxy between the camera and the honeycomb. But you see right through it like it's transparent. Well, I guess because... It 
this transparent. So I'm making a special tool to help me hang up the panels. I'm tracing the shape of the tripod head on this block of styrofoam. And I'm cutting out a little hollow in the shape of the tripod head. So that the block can sit on top of the tripod and not slide off as easily. Once I have the panel on the boat, I set up my tripod and my special styrofoam block. It's a bit of a struggle, but once I've got the panel in position, I can extend the tripod to pin it to the underside of the solar panel frame. And once I've got the tripod tightened down and locked in position, I can let go and it's basically holding the panel up for me. I can even slide it around a little bit to get it in the position I want. And at the moment I'm marking where I want to make a cutout for the solar panel frame in that one far corner and also trim the size of the rectangular panel to its exact final dimension. If only I could think of a use for this tiny rectangle of this, because it's kind of pretty and shiny. So now that that corner is cut out, I can do a better job of marking where the exact sides are going to be cut. And it was another opportunity to show off how shiny it is.